Hello, my name is Dragos. I am the owner of updas.com and in this video I would like to show you how you can display code in a WordPress post with Gutenberg Editor. By default, the Gutenberg Editor it is coming with a code block but is not displaying the, the code very well. It is looking like this. If you see it is not highlighted and you may want to to highlight the code to be nicer and look good for your visitors with the help of some plugins you, that you install you can you can have your your code block display the code in in this format which is nicer for your visitors to do this you will need to install some plugins that will help you format the code block in Gutenberg. These plugins you, you want to install. You should check them to see that are our first light. They are not uh, adding a lot of files to your WordPress blog to make your post load slower to offer support for more codes. So in this example I've chosen a PHP code, but you may want to, to use another code like uh, like C, Java or anything else. To be secure, these days WordPress plugins have a lot of vulnerabilities and you may want for the plugins to be more secure. So I have here an, an site example site where we can we can will perform the steps first let's add a, a new post let's in test post let's put something here then let's let's add a code I will just copy the code from from here to add the code without any plugin you can just Go, go here and add a block. You can search for the code, and you put the code here, and you see that uh, in the right area you don't have any options to format this code. If you hit preview, it will not be formatted. Let's wait a little for the, for the post to load. Okay, it is looking like this. So, to format the code, we can use one of these two plugins. The first plugin is a GitHub one that is very light. It is formatting the code with some JavaScript. It is very fast and and uh, it is adding support for a lot of codes. The second plugin, it's the syntax highlighter evolved. Also, it is a light plugin that it's adding a custom block that you can use to add your code. Let's let's install the the first plugin. First, we need to download it. Download it as a zip. We save it somewhere. Next we go into the site, we go into plugins, add new, I open a new tab, we go to upload plugin, choose the zip file, it should be somewhere here, this one, we hit install now. And activate the plugin. And right now, if we if we go to the post and uh, let's save it as draft first, and we'll open it again after to see the options. Okay. 
Okay, it's saved. Let's open it again. This is the test post. If we go to, to the code that we have added, you will see that in the right side, in the block area, now you have some options like the language. You can choose from here. There are of of languages. The code is for PHP, you choose PHP. Here you can choose to show lines number or not. We don't do that and just hit preview. Now you will see that the the code will be highlighted and will look nicer. Okay, here we go. Right now the code is looking like this. So to, to install the second plugin, if we, we want to use the second one, we just go to the to the plugins, a new, we search for the plugin, we hit install now and activate. Now the plugin is activated and then if you go to the the post and we edit again, you'll see that um, that a new block has been added. Let's search for code. If you see here, this is the default one, this is the, the second code block. We just select it like this and then we can can add the code in it, write this, and in the right side you have the the options to choose again from the from the language like this to show the line number and so on. And then right now if we hit preview we should have a nice code block formatted with our second plugin. You can choose either of the plugin in function of how you you like it. Personally, I like I like better the the first choice because it is it is um, modifying the default code block and it's adding this nice box to to my to my code. Hope you enjoy this video and now you are able to add some nice code blocks into your WordPress posts. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe. Thanks.